Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another what I eat in a day. For those of you that are new, I lost 50 pounds and I've been able to keep the weight off with smarter, healthier meal options and a better lifestyle. I do have an entire playlist dedicated to a bunch of meal ideas if you're interested, so be sure to check those out. For breakfast, I'm not typically super hungry in the morning, so I'll start off with my ice water and coffee. Today I'm gonna use my Dunkin' Extra Extra Creamer, and I'm gonna froth this up with my frother. I'll link this down below if you guys are interested. It's just an easy and affordable way to get a fancier coffee at home. So I'm gonna make this nice and fluffy, whipping this up to top off my coffee with. And then I'm just gonna shake on some cinnamon. One of my easy go-to breakfasts to have on hand is smashing up an avocado, two hard-boiled eggs, and topping this off with pepper and everything seasoning. It's so simple. It's extremely filling, high protein, and healthy fats. For lunch today, I honestly just didn't feel like making anything, so I did decide to order and deliver to the house so I can just continue editing upcoming Halloween content. I was craving a sub, so I ordered Firehouse. I do still eat at restaurants, sometimes fast food, things that are still somewhat convenient. So today's example, is exactly that. I believe in lifestyle, not diets, so you just have to make smarter, wiser choices when weighing your options. A great way to do this is looking online. Most restaurants have their own nutrition calculator to get a better idea of your options. Other things are just super obvious and you can figure out what's healthier, smarter, and better for you. So I didn't get a drink with it. I'm just gonna continue drinking my ice water. For the chips, I always get the baked version. Sometimes I don't even eat them. It just depends how hungry I am or I'll save them for later as a snack, but the baked are definitely a better option than the regular or you could substitute for veggies or fruit if you have that at home on hand. And then this is the sandwich that I picked out today. This is a size small and I did get the side pickle. You can always remove the bread or take some of the bread off like if you want an open face sandwich. Some places also offer lettuce wraps instead or you could just eat it with a fork and knife if you are trying to be lower carb or want to save your carbs for something else later on. But today I'm just going to eat it as is because I did have a small breakfast today and I'm pretty hungry now. So Tonight's dinner was another Home Chef. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Home Chef. I do have a discount code for them if you do wanna try them for yourself. So check out the description box for the direct link and discount code. To get started, you're first going to need about 12 ounces of diced or cubed butternut squash, mince up a bunch of cilantro, cut up a lime into wedges, and stem, cut, and seed your pepper. Then you're going to place your butternut squash on a prepared baking sheet with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. Spread these out so they're just a single layer and roast in the oven for about 25 minutes at 425 degrees. While the squash is roasting, we're gonna move on to the stuffing that we're gonna prepare for the chicken. Add a cooking spray or some cooking oil to a nonstick pan, placing this over medium to high heat, and you're gonna add in your pepper, stirring occasionally until it's tender, so for about three minutes. Then remove this from the burner and add about two ounces of shredded cheddar jack cheese until it's all combined together. Now pat your chicken breasts dry, placing them on a cutting board. Using a sharp knife, you're gonna cut them lengthwise, deep enough to stuff the cheese and peppers inside. So like a little pocket, roughly filling both of them. It's okay if the stuffing's coming out, if you can't fit it all the way, and some gets on the outside, it's just gonna cook all together. It's perfectly fine. Now using that same pan, we made the stuffing in. You're gonna add some more cooking oil and add your chicken to the pan, cooking until browned for about three minutes on one side. Then flip, cooking for about another eight to 10 minutes or until your internal temperature reaches 165 degrees. You can see some of the cheese that was left on the outside started to crisp up, that's totally fine. The chicken will still be extremely moist and tender. It'll just have a slight crunchy, crispy coating on the outside. Then you're gonna plate your butternut squash and chicken, topping them with your chipotle cream sauce, green chili aioli, lime, grated cheese, and cilantro. We were very impressed with how tasty this one was and I did post it on my Instagram. I don't think I've ever received as many messages asking for the recipe as I did after posting this one. So I'm excited for you guys to also give this a try. I was craving something sweet for dessert, per usual. <laughs> so one of my go-tos are the chocolate and vanilla flavored Jello. These are the sugar-free ones. I used to eat these as a kid all the time, but I still eat them. In the summer, sometimes I eat like the fruit Jello flavors with sugar-free whipped cream, but other times I like the chocolate flavored. It's just something easy, guilt-free, and helps satisfy any sweet cravings that you have if you're someone like me who really enjoys sweets. Who said Jello is just for kids, right? <laughs> So that's everything for today's What I Eat in a Day video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to make sure you're still subscribed to my channel and that you're following me on Instagram for more day-to-day -day updates. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.